Hi, chickens! <laughs> Welcome back to my channel and today's video is going to be Postural Orthostatic Tachycardia Syndrome or POTS in a nutshell. So POTS is a condition that affects uh, circulation and blood flow around the body. It's a form of orthostatic intolerance. So basically it means that we're allergic to gravity. So the symptoms often occur when standing up and can quite often be relieved by lying down. So it means that we spend a lot of our time lying down. Bed is my best friend. Most common symptoms of orthostatic intolerance are lightheadedness, fainting and an uncomfortable rapid increase in heart rate when standing up. My belle cat's decided to come and sit with me, she's been out in the rain so she's absolutely drenched. Spell the are strange. Harry Potter fan? Yes. So every every case of POTS is different, everybody's body is different. Some people's symptoms may come and go over time, some people may deal with the symptoms daily like myself. There isn't a cure for it but adjustments in diet, medications and physical activity can quite often lead to an improvement in quality of life. Our heart rate and our blood pressure work together to keep the blood flowing at a healthy pace around our bodies. In people with POTS, our bodies can't control the balancing act of blood vessels squeezing and the heart rate response. So what happens is when we stand up, our blood pressure drops, our heart rate goes sky high to try and compensate for the lack of blood around the body. And that's when we get dizzy and quite often pass out. So a POTS attack can be, it can be quite a scary experience to be honest. There are loads of different symptoms and everybody's different. So some people can just have a couple of the symptoms, other people will have all of the symptoms. So the symptoms are high or low blood pressure, chest pain, high or low heart rate, and a racing heart rate and standing. Dizziness and lightheadedness, especially when standing up or if you've been standing up for a long time or been on a long walk, etc. Fainting or near fainting, like blackouts. Abdominal pain, bloating, nausea, exhaustion and fatigue. Temperature deregulation, so either really hot or really cold. Blurred vision, forgetfulness, brain fog, headaches, body aches and pains, flu-like, neck pain, a nervous sort of jittery feeling. Exercise intolerance, shakiness and tremors, especially with adrenaline surges excessive and lack of sweating, diarrhea and or constipation, discoloration of feet and hands, insomnia, frequent awakenings from sleep, excess sweating when you're asleep, chest pain, racing heart when you're going to sleep. Treatment, as I've said before, is medications, diet, physical activity when possible, increasing your water intake. So these are all things that can hopefully help people with POTS. But yeah, that was just my little video about POTS in a nutshell. Hope you enjoyed it. If there's other, any other things you want me to talk about, you know, like the main symptoms, diagnosis and treatment, then let me know in the comment section below. Please give this video a thumbs up. I would really, really appreciate it. And it would mean a lot to me. I'm really helping me out. And if you don't, already then please subscribe to my channel if you made it this far let me know in the comments section below so i know that i'm not talking to myself out here which i probably am well yeah thanks for watching for love and hugs i'll also pop links below to other videos about pops um the website for pops and little things that i think have helped me so yeah thank you